So you finally decided to join a Filipino dating site. And lo and behold, you meet the Filipina of your dreams. But how can you be sure she's not talking to 20 other guys? You can't really. How can she be sure you're not talking to 20 other Filipinas? It's all about trust. But there is a way to find out. Do you remember that girl, that Filipina from Cebu, Cindy? The one that I gave over a period of time, six, seven thousand dollars to? She always seemed to need money, no matter how much money I gave her. Well, there was just something about that Filipina that didn't sit right with me. Ha! Was it the seven thousand that didn't sit right? So I decided to put it to the test. I opened a dummy account on Filipino Cupid. I put a dummy profile up there. In fact, I went to Google Images and I put a picture of a male model in his 50s. And I waited till everything was set up and then I messaged her, Cindy, the Filipina, you know, the one that loved me and was constantly needing more money. So nothing happened. Two days went by. Nah. Hi, I said, how are you using the dummy profile? Let's say my name was Roger. I can't remember what the name I used was, but I put that I was an American. Like I said, I had the, the photo, the pic of the male model in his mid fifties. And you know, I made the profile nice. I had a good job, equal to good income. I wanted to meet a Filipina, perhaps even live in the Philippines. So again, I try. Three days later. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Nothing. Well, so maybe I really am the only one she's talking to. Because, you know, like three, four, five days have gone by. So that's good, or so I thought. After a week, I thought, let me try one last time. So I said something like, hi, Cindy, how are you? I'd really like to get to know you. And within 20 minutes, lo and behold, Cindy replied. So I thought, hmm, not good. The girl's constantly asking for money. The girl's got a problem with her ex-British boyfriend who's trying to sue her because she stole his gold. And she's trying to get him blacklisted from the Philippines because she's scared of him. So I'm starting to think, perhaps she's trouble. I was slow in those days. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to tackle her. When I speak to her next on Skype, because that's how I was talking to her back then, I'm going to tell her that was me. It was my profile pretending to be some guy called Roger. Why did you talk to him? If you're supposedly in love with me and we're going to have a relationship when I get to the Philippines. Oh, she said. Roger is the same name as my ex, you know, the ex British that's trying to sue me for stealing his gold. 
the one that I'm now trying to blacklist from the Philippines because he's threatened me. Well, I thought it was him trying to get back in my good books, but using a fake name. I didn't really find that too convincing, I have to say. So along with that incident and a lot of other things, I decided, Cindy, goodbye. Now, I'm not trying to suggest that if you meet a Filipina online, you must do the same thing. I had good reason because of everything that had happened previously. The Filipina I'm with now, my wife, I never did that with her, nor the others that I met on Filipina Cupid. It was just Cindy because of all the constant wanting money. She wanted money to start a rice uh, business. She wanted money for medical bills. She wanted money because her father needed transport to get to the hospital. She wanted money to buy some land in Cebu. She needed money for the deposit. She needed money to pay the lawyer, to blacklist the ex-boyfriend, etc. She needed money because she didn't work. She needed money because she didn't have any money. So like I said, I had reason to be suspicious of her. So don't go thinking the minute you get to know a Filipina or Filipino Cupid or wherever, you must do the same thing. I'm glad I did because it cemented what I think I knew. I don't know if she was a scammer. I, I don't know what the hell she was, but I knew she wasn't for me. Took me a while. So just look out for red flags when you're chatting to anyone. And if you don't see any, don't invent them. Don't get paranoid. Don't think to yourself, there's got to be red flags. This is all too good to be true. Just accept it is what it is. And your ship has finally come in.